All right, I am charging my LifePo 4 battery with the Epic Power Gain. I've got it switched over to lithium. I have the 14.4 uh, here, and this power inverter is running my uh, AC adapter to charge my laptop, which has about a half charge, so that'll give it some work to do. And monitoring here is the power supply 14.8. Volts. I have it set to like 14.9. Let me turn off the inverter. That'll that'll drop it down. It was 14.94. Battery 13.55. Ooh, it dropped a second. <laughs> it's been going about five minutes charging the battery. That's going to suck that down. And the blue light, when it does an occasional flicker like that, that means it's sent to like a trickle charge. And the battery has 13 point, estimating 13.5, 13.6. Now I'm going to turn off the power supply. Um, power supply it, it whooped down from 14 to 11 to 1 to nothing battery it's holding 13 2 temp 75 it can heat up to 60 Celsius 140 I believe uh, this will stop charging at 110 volt Fahrenheit uh, voltage 12.9, which is more than enough to run a radio. And I'm going to flip the power supply back on. You see that charging. Now, remaining task is I need a little uh, heat shield here behind this uh, inverter. I need to swap this 12 port with the 8 port that I already have and uh, button it up. Get some, put some screws down in. I need to put some screws on the side here to hold it, keep it from going up. Though in reality, nothing's really going too far anywhere. And I'm using the Western Mountain Radio device, but anything that can read a a serial port would do the trick. Uh, that's just a micro USB connection to the computer. Alright, 